What is Hamshack Hotline and do I need it? Find out now. Welcome to Radio Waves and today we're going to look at a thing called Hamshack Hotline. Now, what is Hamshack Hotline? Hamshack Hotline is using a VOIP phone and one of the good things about uh, recent times is that there's a lot of business phones that are going fairly cheaply. You can get them on eBay. Now, Hamshack Hotline is effectively just a phone service but it's run by hams. It's all run by volunteers, so it's a, a fantastic service. It has many applications that could be used in future ham radio, especially in emergency situations where your communications have gone down, traditional communications. But if you have an internet uh, service, you could still be able to make calls either to emergency services like Ares or Wyson in Australia, and it's using a simply... A business phone. Now, some of the phones that they use are mostly Cisco phones. This one in particular is the 525G2, and you can f- pick them up on eBay fairly cheaply. Now, what you have to do is get your phone provisioned. Now, that uh, requires you having the phone and then getting the MAC address uh, actioned or provisioned by Hamshack Hotline. Um, It takes a few days or can take up to a few days. Sometimes it can be quicker. And then uh, once you get the provision, it then can take another further uh, 24 hours or up until 3.30 when they do a uh, refresh of uh, the system. The 525 is pretty good. It actually has a couple of features which is fantastic, like being able to Bluetooth your iPhone or your mobile phone to one of the settings. So you can actually use the Cisco phone to take your normal iPhone calls, especially when you're at home. Uh, so it means you don't have to then have a second line or a, or a fixed line as such. You can actually still use your mobile phone and use it through the 525. Uh, there's a whole lot of RF links that are connected to it and there's also audio services. The list is endless. But uh, what would be good is there's not a lot of people in Asia Pacific or Australia that, that, that use it. There are a few users. One of the great things about ham radio is they get involved in emergency services. And over the years, the reliance on ham radio to do radio operations has dropped off a bit because a lot of government agencies have decided that they need their own communications. And so they don't want to rely on ham radio operators. But the good thing about ham radio is they keep coming up and inventing new things. For instance, you could be in an emergency search and rescue or something like that and you know in an area that may not have very good cell coverage but you might have great internet coverage perfect for this kind of operation where you can make a direct contact or a conference call to other emergency outlets or to a uh, command centre. So the the use is actually quite endless. But like I say, what I love is the fact that ham radio can actually then take that next step further into providing some of those communications. There's a lot of RF links. There's a lot of uh, conference calls for severe weather in the States. There's not a lot of... uh, interesting stuff that happens in Australia just yet but hopefully with this video people might be inspired to get a uh, an IP phone. So you can connect this phone through the power over the Ethernet in that uh, SW socket there that will provide power for the phone and also the internet. You are also able to plug in a 5 volt uh, signal there but make sure it's about 3 amps or 2 or 3 amps to be able to power a lot of the features on this phone. So there it is just powering up and once it starts to power up it will seek the connection. At the moment I'm running it through Wi-Fi so it takes a little bit longer than trying to do it through the Ethernet but uh, it works perfectly through Wi-Fi. You can add what's called a sidecar and that allows you direct access to some of the talk groups at just one button push.
know, the oak crunch texture, you know, sweet, savoury, acidity. I, I'm just trying to find the balance of everything. So every time that you build something on a plate, it is essentially, like, it's a trade, it's a craft. It's like building a chair, like a carpenter, or building a wardrobe, or doing... So let's have a look at the Ham Shack Hotline website. And if you have a look around it, it effectively will be self-explanatory. One of the things you can do is have a look at the bridge or what's called Beyond BLF. It will show you who's currently active and their effective talk group, if you want to call it that, like if you're talking uh, uh, DMR terms, but it's, uh, it tells you whether it's on the Asia-Pacific server or the US server. So HHUS is the US, AP is Asia-Pacific, and there's also an experimenter's uh, uh, service. Uh, you can also have a look at uh, some of the things. Uh, they've got a, uh, a a couple of brochures there, which go into a little bit of detail about some of the things that uh, they offer. Uh, how will you register? Some of the bridges, the conference bridges, there's the extensions there. Uh, something as simple as uh, just radio services. So if you dial 7003, you get the BBC. Uh, and there's more things being added all the time. So it's quite comprehensive in terms of what uh, they offer. Now, the, the, the thing you need to do if you're going to set one of these up is you, first of all, uh, open a ticket. And what that does is effectively you uh, can pick one of these topics and you can basically get a new line request. Uh, then if, if you're in Australia, it's the Asia-Pacific uh, new line re request. And then it drops down and then effectively you put in your call sign. And the, th the key thing you need is your MAC address of your phone because that's what gets uh, provisioned uh, depending where it is. So that's a little taste of uh, what's there. In the knowledge base, there's a lot of information here about uh, the Hamshack hotline and uh, gives you a, an idea of some of the phones that uh, they set up. You have a VoIP phone, an internet connection, you're provisioned, and then uh, away you go. You can actually start talking to other hams or com connect a community service or a, an essential service to uh, from one conference to another or use some of these RF links. There's a whole lot of RF links that are on the Brandmeister DMR network. Effectively, you can talk from your phone to an RF link. So have a look at Hamshack Hotline, and I'll put a link in the description of how to find Hamshack Hotline, and have a look around. It's an interesting side of ham radio, and if we can get some more people in Australia, in VK land, to get involved, it might be good for getting some of these links together. Thanks very much for watching.